still uh, watching what's going on with uh, the Line 3 protests. Um, and this is um, this is a uh, another oil pipeline uh, crossing the Mississippi River. And there have been attempts um, at the end of last month um, to essentially prevent it being built. And there was two women who were just um, who were just sentenced to prison uh, or just about to be. I, I did an interview about this for the, uh, for, the for the Peacock show uh, over the Dakota Access Pipeline. And what they were doing is they were going basically like sabotaging it being built just trying to increase the expense of of building it um and um essentially you've got people uh, you know uh, waltz the governor in minnesota um approved the building of the pipeline um and i think this is fairly recently and uh basically you've got a a uh, a group of folks, uh, water protectors, uh, indigenous uh, folks, um, who are, you know, uh, trying to essentially protect our waterways. You remember there was a huge spill by Colonial. This is they made it into news because of they were um, uh, they were like cyber hacked, right? Cyber attacked. But the real story was completely, well, was unrelated, I believe, to this. But sometime around this time last year, there were a couple of, I think, kids who were riding their, um, their mountain bikes in the woods. And they came upon this area where there was oil bubbling up from the ground. And a colonial pipeline, which is the biggest one on the East Coast, had sprung a leak. And the terrifying thing about this is colonial did not know. And for there to be enough oil that it's actually bubbling up through the ground, through the ground. And these things are built, you know, are, are buried. I don't know how many feet down, six feet more, maybe. The idea that there's so much oil that has leaked at that point that it's bubbling up and it is not picked up by the supposed sensors that are telling you that there's leaks. You understand the implications of that if that pipeline is, I don't know, in the Mississippi. And you can go and look over the course of the past year as colonial slowly either reveals or understands the size of this leak it's massive it was i mean there was so much oil that was um in the ground and had that been i mean obviously it's going to have detrimental effects for all sorts of the environment around there but it had it had it gone through the mississippi i mean uh, the, the devastation would have been amazing yeah and we should say for the line three protests too um the tactics used by police are escalating there hasn't been a lot of reporting on this but of course democracy now is having the activists on to to say their piece in the traditionally like excellent way democracy now does some of this stuff but it's very reminiscent of standing rock maybe not in terms of just this the scale and the size um but I, I can't speak firsthand, but it seems like there have been multiple water protectors arrested um, and police usage of excessive force in a variety of ways, tear gas, rubber bullets, etc. So, um, and plus this is also in indigenous Americans who are, uh, who are leading the charge here, much like in... Uh, with the Dakota Access Pipeline. So just it's crucial that we show our support. I would recommend um, people get familiar with the concept of jury nullification when it comes to people arrested uh, for things like this, which is where you basically decide that you don't want to apply the law even despite evidence uh, on certain cases. I think jury nullification is a concept that 
We should get more and more people talking about where people get on the jury and then they decide they. Yeah, I mean, like uh, for instance, like always, like I got jury duty recently. We were talking about this before the show, and I'm actually excited to go. And if it's going to be like sort of a drugs charge or something like that, I'll just uh, invoke jury notification. And um, <laughs> I mean, when they question, they have you, no that idea happen? what they're in for it's, with you. It's uh, <laughs> you, it's like when you're coming to a verdict, you can just say, and like the defense lawyers can't say can't pitch this say hey regardless of the evidence you should just say he's not guilty but as a jury you can do that say i don't believe in this law and i'm just not i'm just going to vote not guilty uh, i would imagine they would question you that before you get up there well i'm not going to mention it before i uh... well they, but if they ask you and you lie you may have a problem well, maybe <laughs> the best answer to that is like i'm thinking about that yeah or you say it at the end of the trial like you know i wasn't i didn't even know what that was until like that whole concept until they brought it up at the question so <laughs> up until that moment but then i started to think about it and i'm like hey wait a sec and you know what all of this is on camera now so whoops could be used could be used by the defense or the prosecution whichever way in order to this trial. Talk, talk about yeah all right, let's get into, uh, we're going to get to uh, IMs and phone in just a moment. We should just say uh, Fierce Deity 73. Any reason the Bullprog Fun Half intro has been taken out of the rotation? And uh, folks, I will say, like, I just asked Matt this, and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, no, I forgot. Like, it's just like, it's not, that is not, a, that is not a criticism, Matt. It's just like, a lot of times people just don't understand the power of just like habit. Uh, in the context of yeah, the everything, is, it's producerial laziness. It's not loaded on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not loaded onto this new computer yet. But uh, and it's we'll just, bring it back tomorrow. Right, and like the Crowder thing oh. was so. Speaking of producerial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So much for the uh, mystery surrounding that. It uh, it's one of those things where those hot buttons really need to hit uh, when the joke is there. Right. That's the, 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 the function of the soundboard. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.